Hello everybody and welcome back to some more of the new save file. We are going to jump in and I think I'm going to do at least two challenges on this episode. I think I want to go for the highbrow and then I think I maybe want to go for the wacka wacka challenge as well or tech point five. We'll see what we end up going for. Um, but anyways, let's go do the highbrow challenge first. I can't remember exactly what this one is. I'm fairly sure this one got made really easy due to some changes that happened to the uh, the uh, transformations in Repentance. I also have a mod that makes the transformations a little better as well, so we'll see if that affects it. But either way, yeah, let's jump in and get some unlocks via the challenges. Mr. Boom is not really something that I want, considering we already have Flush. But what from what I remember, walking over poop, sorry, destroying poops um, heals you when you've got the oh crap transformation, so... Yeah, this this becomes quite easy, quite easy. We need we need some some version of Stompy that'd be good. Really, don't know why I even bothered using a bomb there. It was honestly pretty pointless. But yeah, we do have Teddy Touch, uh, so we can walk directly into enemies and turn them into poop. But you'll you'll kind of see how this uh, this whole shtick ends up working out. But either way, for the question of the day today, it's always difficult when I record multiple episodes in a single day to come up with the question. So for the question of the day today, we're going to flip it around. Just give me a question that you have for me. I do these every now and again. I think with a new year, it makes sense to, um, to have some questions for me as well. So let me know what questions you have for me. Uh, some good stuff behind all these rocks here. Unfortunately, that didn't really work out the way I wanted it to, but... Hey, her. But you'll see that sometimes poops will drop these little things here. The poops that Blue Baby normally gets. Um, that is because... Oh, damn. We've got Petrified Poop here, which we already had. But there you go. Um, yeah, uh, that is because of the transformation mod that I've got going on. Basically, when you destroy a poop, it has a chance to spawn these. And picking those up has a chance to give you a Blue Fly or a Locust. It's a pretty good change to the... Um, to the transformation that in a regular run makes it a lot more interesting to have obviously in a challenge like this it kind of slightly uh, ruins the effect it's not it's not a big it's not a big thing though um i'm just gonna double bomb you i can't be arsed dealing with you i don't work for you sir we do have all the soul hearts right now and i mean quite a lot Ooh, we got um the hierophant which is going to give us a bunch of hp honestly we're, we're set. We're golden. Um, three random coin pickups. Three of diamonds. We've got an Empress and a Pentacles. We'll take Pentacles. That's going to convert every single enemy in one room into, I think, flies. I can't remember exactly which one the Pentacles does, to be honest. Um, I, I really can't remember. But we'll save it for a room that makes sense. We apparently have the soul at the moment in this room, which is not true. I don't know why that's there. But this is the, we have the soul above our head now. That's the uh, I, the little ghost that we have on our forehead. That's the icon for the soul. So I'm not quite sure what's going on with that. And it's we're also reflecting enemies as well. So I'll be honest. Don't know where we got the soul from. Um, it must be something to do with using that Hierophant card, I'm guessing. we also got some dips here. Nice. But I honestly am none the wiser. I'll be honest. I'm none the wiser. Both of you went for the same one. I can't believe our health currently. Our health is nuts. <laughs> uh, I don't think we need anything from any of these. We're just going to be, tr like, stomping through here. Honestly, we really don't need soul heart health because we can regain regular health so easily from uh, destroying all the poops and stuff. So we should probably just do that. Uh, but at the same time, it feels like a waste to, like, throw away all our soul heart health when we've got all of it. Do you know what? Let's flush this room. Let's go and do our boss. The more bombs we can get, the better, because I want to be able to take these guys out quick. I don't know where that fire came from. Holy shit. Why is there so many eternal hearts? What the hell's going on here? Um, and then... We get a particularly good room here, which unfortunately has a thousand spiders in it. It did turn them all into blue flies. Okay. Bloody card is very good. When we get hit, we have a chance to use whatever card we have in our pocket. Uh, pretty good. And we'll take the pinhead shot as well, because that's just pretty good. And we'll keep moving on. I, I don't even know if we want to be using the, the main method of just running into things, because everything else is going so well. I think pinhead gives us piercing, but it also lets us attach enemies to one another to deal, like, cross damage sort of thing. 
which is pretty nice. We do need some more range, I'll tell you that for sure. Oh, we can get mini Isaacs through this as well. Interesting. But yeah, any room that looks particularly annoying, we just got to use uh, our flush on. Flush is incredibly good. Very, very powerful. Uh, we got the tiny machine. We've got this, which I'm definitely going to take because that's double Hierophant there. Yeah, we do have that, but I believe that's an active, so I'm not going to take that. Yeah, we want to be attaching as many enemies as, as to each other as we can. The pin shots aren't every shot, though. It's a, only a chance to fire them. But the chance is relatively high. It's not like a crazy, crazy big difference. Annoying enemy. God damn, the soul hearts are so lucky right now. Shop disc. So, shop disc is something I'm going to keep in my pocket. I've actually got a potentially interesting idea right now. Oh, we got a giant mushroom. Awesome. Giant mushroom. First time I've seen one of those in a while. This is part of the giant props mod. I believe mushroom tissue... Okay, it activates random pill effect, I think. I can see. Health down. Ah, oh, bloody hell. And we get blue cap out of it. Pretty good. Cool. Right. Um, I think I've got kind of a de decent idea. It does involve us getting rid of all of our soul hearts, though. Uh, basically, we have bloody card, which means on hit, we have a chance to use whatever's in our pocket. We also have a shop disc. So if we just walk into enemies and take a bunch of damage, we should be getting quite a lot of shop items on the regular, is, is how I'm currently seeing it. And then we can heal up from the poops. That's how I see it, at least. Could be interesting. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Oh, unfortunately, we have the worst boss to ever exist. But do not worry, because we have Pin Shot, which for some reason just insta-kills this guy. And I love the fact that it does. I will check this out real quick. Nah, nothing I want there. Good, good, good. Yeah, we, it would be nice to have more red HP to make this a little safer to do. But I still want to try it out anyways. Let's go through here. See if there's anything good. Um, yeah, I mean, we might as well go. You see? There you go. Shop procs. And there's another shop prox. And we got that out of it, which is four to six soul hearts. I mean, we've got an abundance of soul hearts in here now if we need them. But yeah, so we got quite a lot of shop items there. I didn't actually see what we got. But shop items are always pretty good. Shop is, a, is not the best disc we could have got for this, I'll be honest. There's definitely better discs out there that would have been a bit more interesting. But I'm not going to say no to it, definitely. Thank you. Don't really care about getting any of these cards. I'm pretty happy with what we got going on right now. Any room that looks problematic, we flush. Unfortunately... Poops that are generated from flush do not get instantly um, instantly destroyed like a regular poop would when out of combat. That mod does not apply to ones generated via the, uh, the flush item, which is a shame. But understandable. So there's another free trial ended. So, so basically, we want to be getting at least a proc every 60 seconds to keep our items flowing. It's not going to be always plausible. I think it's like a... A 5% chance on hit, maybe a 10% chance on hit to proc, so it doesn't happen a ton. But you can get it going if you work to it, if you work towards it. Hey, he actually got flushed. Damn it. You need to be getting out of here. But yeah, I'm not that worried about just walking into enemies and seeing what happens. Oh, nice. We got some dips there as well. Lots of poopies coming our way. I think it's taking so long to kill. We actually have pretty low damage to, like, in the grand scheme of things. Like I said, though, it's not too big of a deal. 
It was a red heart. Not exactly what I was looking for, but I'll take it. Let's carry on. This is only to mum's foot, this one. So this challenge is, is almost over. Like I said, some of the challenges go by very, very quickly. Some of them take a bit longer. Uh, but we're kind of speeding through here because we probably want to do two challenges in one video. I'm thinking we'll go for Waka Waka after this, which is a challenge which is definitely a little bit harder. But it did get made a bit easier recently because, uh, I say recently, but um, Soul of Apollyon is another good one that we could just stick with. Although, I am a bit confused why a Soul Stone is showing up. Do challenges just have everything unlocked? Or is there some weird bug that's causing that to show up? Because that shouldn't be showing up, right? Challenges, do challenges have everything unlocked? I don't actually know now, but we're going to stick with our shop, shop disc. Yeah, I, I'll be honest, I'm not 100% sure why that showed up. Can it, if anyone can give me clarity on that, if that's a bug or if that's something that can happen. I really don't know. I feel like it is the case that challenges just have everything unlocked. I feel like I've heard that somewhere before, but... I don't know. I know that dailies have everything unlocked. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. I am not quite sure. I do not like the spike block here. Can, can you go away, spike block? Mini Isaacs, do your thing. Uh, no, thank you. And we go to the last floor of this challenge. We should be pretty much set here, to be honest. Pretty much set. Probably better to, for us to keep our soul hearts at this point, because we're not going to be able to generate a ton of uh, poops while we're on the boss fight. Now, Mum does spawn things, so that does help, but it's not, like, crazy. Oh, my God. Just kill that enemy. It's taking forever. For some reason, that champion has just an unimaginable amount of HP. Like this guy as well. Any, anything that gets turned from that... Um, that gets turned from that champion style, where they get powered up. God damn, they're so strong. Ow. Not good hits here. Not good hits. Hopefully we're going the right way here. Oh, slightly annoying room here. We're going to have to fake this guy out. Walk around. Give him the old walk around and stuff. Not the best place to be going. Okay. I did get um, flight here, which makes things significantly easier. Thank you. And then... This room going to finish. Gotta kill this guy now. Good, good. Yeah, the jetpack made that a little easier. Sadly, this is still the wrong way, though. So, all of that was for nothing. I do like the rooms with the blocks, but they can be a little tedious at times. Depends what they're like. Some of them are fine. Others are, like, puzzles. Others are just, like, generally unnecessarily annoying. That one wasn't too bad, to be honest. That one that we had at the end of the last episode, I, um, when we were trying to go for boss rush, was really annoying. Oh god, I just kind of stood there and froze. Oh dude, come on now. Just taking so much unnecessary damage here. There's going to be other enemies that spawn after this guy, isn't there? Oh no, there isn't. Free trial has ended again. Sad times. Flush these guys, actually. They're annoying me. I need to remember to use flush more often. I don't really use it that much. And it is very, very good. I can't believe we didn't get any damage ups throughout this challenge. It is quite the shame. Um, I guess I'll take this. I don't think it matters, though. I don't think it really does much for us. I'll take the battery charge in case we need to flush once more. This doesn't seem like a room we need to flush. This, however, why not? Right, it is the mum fight. This is going to take a little bit of time. Basically, my current theory is if we attach all the pieces to one another, 
the damage output should be pretty crazy. It just, unfortunately, they do de-latch. Like, the, the attachment line only lasts a certain amount of time. But that's probably going to be our best method of dealing good damage, I'll be honest. Having segments attached to one another should lead to higher damage output overall. It's just keeping the connections formed is not particularly easy. There you go, there we got it. Kinda egg. And we got a Platarium disc a little bit late, but there you go. Um, and we have finished this challenge. We are good to go to the next one. It only took 15 minutes as well. Okay, good. The Yarrow Rune has been unlocked. Beautiful. Um, and then we can go challenge, and let's go and do the Wacker Wacker challenge. I like Death's Touch as a very good item, so... In fact, maybe uh, our unlock condition for um, Samel, or whatever his name is, could be um, picking up Death's Touch for the first time, considering it is a scythe, as we were saying... Uh, on the last episode about the unlock conditions. It'd be interesting to hear what you guys think about that. But I'll see what you guys have suggested anyways, because I really like that idea of having these custom unlock conditions. Unfortunately, not what we wanted there. Uh, also, I forgot to I forgot to use my Christmas dude. Okay. Also, we have the soul again. What's the deal with us having the soul? We have the soul sticking out of our head, and we, we definitely shouldn't. Ah. There is some... Some issue here. Being caused. Quite a lot of errors. Apparently, Beekonomy is having a hard time. This is just... I'm holding up the entire time here, and they just keep on going. Normally, with this game at the moment, it's really unfortunate, but as soon as one error has been generated, it starts causing issues all over town. So that might be the reason why we have the soul every now and again. And it also might be the reason why we saw... Um, oh god, we're gonna get hit by all the creep here. It also might be the reason that we saw um, a soul of Apollyon appear for some reason. This is the true Waka Waka player style. Just suck him into our pellets. Don't worry, he's not a threat to us. Beautiful. We keep it going. We keep it going. This, this one is again to Mum's foot. A little bit of a harder challenge here. But yeah, we might we might be seeing issues being rampant throughout here because uh, an error is being caused. I don't know what exactly caused it, but until that issue is fixed, it's going to be a problem. And I'm really hoping it's soon. It's been a, It's been a problem for like a solid month now. Basically, if you don't know what I'm talking about, unfortunately, um, when the last update for Repentance came, it made some changes to modding, which was very good, but the unfortunate part of it was that it um, essentially broke some things with modding, where if even a single error is generated, um, it causes other things to error too, and it's, it, it, it's basically made it so that when errors get caused by mods, especially on big models like this when it happens all the time, it causes issues with your other mods, and it's it's just a, a snowballing effect that can cause some real problems. By the way, we got Pride Pin here, I didn't really mention it, but Pride Pin, of course, really, really good for us. Uh, gives us those beautiful multicolored shots. For God's sake, Spider, why do you have to be pulled so easily? Oh, for... These dudes have spawned so many of these, calm down. I don't want to deal with all this crap. Where, where's my where's my pride pin boy anyways? He's just stuck over there. Now, we did just get a, a, a glass D100, so we could just put an end to this entire challenge um, and reroll everything and, and change the entire concept of the challenge. But that's not really in the spirit of things, so I'm not going to do that yet. Yeah, unfortunately, pride is yet another thing where it just breaks. The economy, wow, that is... There's some errors going on there. But the thing is, I can't even... I, I could go to the developer and say, hey, there's an error popping up with the economy, but it might not even be their fault, like, at all. It could just be another mod that's caused an error that has caused that mod to error. And at that point, it's very, very hard to diagnose what the problem is. And especially with uh, these large mod lists, it happens... It, unfortunately, it's going to happen quite a lot. 
Well, that was good. It killed that guy instantly. Pride, he's just going to be there as a as a little bystander, watching the world go by, essentially, seeing what's, what's happening. We'll let him be. As long as he's giving us our um, lovely rainbow-colored shots, I don't really mind. Good, good. Lots of HP here. Uh, we did get the pin shot again here, which is potentially pretty good. I think I should take it, to be honest. It's a very, very good item. And we keep her going. HP's looking good. I think we'll stick with what we got going on right now. I don't think we need to mess around with the D100 at all. It's basically D100 is like, if it's looking like a dire situation, then we take it. But otherwise, it doesn't seem like a, a useful thing to, for us to do, really. But yeah, the pin shots do give us piercing, obviously, as well. The let's attach enemies. Any segmented enemies, as we saw with Kingpin, just get absolutely annihilated. So, very, very good for us. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> apparently, uh, the magnetism of, of these shots does not play well with these enemies. That's kind of funny. Of course, we are beelining pretty much straight for the boss because we don't have item rooms. Ooh! Interesting concept I hadn't thought of until just now. Because of the Waka Waka playstyle of having enemies chase us via the magnetism, we can pull multiple enemies through the same pin shot, therefore giving us a really good way to attach enemies to one another and dealing mass damage to the entire room. That's a really cool idea. Of course, the enemies need to be close enough to each other to start with for that to work the way we want it to. That's pretty interesting. Come on, Tears. Get out of here. Not really taking pills right now, I'll be honest. But yeah, we've got the soul in this room again. I'm not quite sure if that's part of the, the ongoing issues with other things, or if that's... I don't know. I really don't. It's, it's, it's clearly not intentional, but... Oh, we got the purple bat. Unfortunately, our bomb situation isn't particularly good. I'm going to try something here. I'm going to try and drop the pride pin and then pick it back up again to see if it reactivates... It does. It reactivates pride's AI for this room. It seems to be going from room to room that causes issue. That's good, though, because he can do a pretty good amount of damage for us. There's some herming shots going on around here. Okay, no. Pr Pride, Pride is, is, is uh, his AI has already died. There's some serious issues going on with Pride here that we can't really sort. My goodness. Game's really having a hard time tugging everyone everywhere right now. It does not like it. You, I'm honestly just so down for the amount of HP the game is giving us right now. 10% chance to fire a... I didn't really see what that was there. What hit me then? 10% uh, chance to fire a tier themed after a Sue. Uh, blah, 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 blah. That's potentially good, but I think this is better. Hitting enemy in the back deals double damage and causes bleeding. Just because I feel like with the Waka Waka idea, enemies are getting pulled into our shots, which means they might get pulled backwards into our shots, therefore adding the bleeding and dealing more damage. Seems like a potentially good way to, to give us more damage. We'll see how, how likely that is to trigger. Oh my god, enemies that are not good for us right now. Okay, there you go. Look, we, we somehow backstabbed an enemy that has its back directly against a wall. So... I can't tell if we actually have the soul or if we just have the costume. I think we just have the costume. And I see that Dom Mick there. Tainted Rock, something that we had again already unlocked uh, showing up for us there. Like I said, hopefully this stand will stay unlocked. Oh my goodness. Taking damage, I just shouldn't be. Unfortunately, the Wacker Wacker challenge is particularly cruel and can cause some really, really unintentional and bad damage. That's why it's a challenge, because the item itself does things like that, where it just drags an enemy directly into you without warning. But we've been given so much health that I don't think it's that big of an issue. 
<laughs> that guy getting pulled around is pretty funny. Anything that flies as well gets kind of pulled around in a really crazy way. A dime there. Dude! Pulled around like a weirdo, I don't like it. Yeah, the backstabbing thing has, has proven to be very, very strong. And honestly, because the backstab damage does more damage the faster they're moving, the ability for us to pull them around is causing them to take even more damage than they would otherwise. So, this is all around very, very good. I will quickly go back and pick up our dime there in case we come along a shop that we want to open up. Just in case we want to buy some extra health is sort of my thinking right now. But for challenges, it's been a good episode. I still don't really know how I'm going to thumbnail these. I'll be honest, because I don't just want it to be, um, I don't just want it to be Isaac, because that doesn't get clicks. <laughs> I'm just playing as Isaac for every thumbnail. Oh my, I just about to say, I know I'm going to get hit by this guy. Unfortunately, the wrong way. At least the soul uh, visual fits very nicely with our character having anti-grab and being blue. Don't care about going into the trap rooms. Yeah, the backstab plus the pin shot. Truly a match made in heaven for us right now. Proving to be very, very strong. Tell you what, I'm not a fan of this. That was a horrible room right there. Looking out for tinted rocks if I can find them. Dude, why are you still alive? Stop. I don't know how that enemy lived so long. And I shouldn't have been so, like, nonchalant about whether it was alive or not, but come on now. You could have been dead a while ago. Why weren't you? Hey, there's a half soul heart for me. Lovely. I'm actually going to drop the glass to 100 at this point because I think that the potential chance of me accidentally picking it up is not good. I don't know why Pride's AI works for like a little bit and then just stops. Right. In here, we do have 9 volt, which I guess I'll buy in case we get an active. But I very highly doubt we will. Considering we don't have item rooms, I don't see how we how we could, to be honest. I suppose maybe a library. A library is something that you have to unlock, or they already unlocked. I don't actually know. Just keep pulling enemies directly into me. That's that's the literal main way I'm taking damage. I pull an enemy into myself. Plus two soul hearts, I like that. We also gulped our trinket. Uh Chance to gain two times damage for the room when taking damage uh, for the duration of the following room. Eh, don't think either of those are really worth losing HP over right now. We are onto the last floor anyways. Good old Depths 2. Hey, Tinted Rock, lovely. Yeah, this is such a good match of items. Okay, and I think now as well we have more than enough health to stay in whatever this floor throws at us, including the boss fight. And we've unlocked some very good stuff. Yara Rune, Death's Touch, some of the better unlocks from challenges. I very much like that mod that tells us what everything unlocks now. Don't have to bother looking it up or remembering. I knew what some stuff unlocked, but not all of it. So, yes, yeah, it's, it's nice to actually be able to see before we go in and try it out. Or having to wait until you guys let me know in the comments or are the researching. Either way, this makes things a lot better for us. Unfortunately, the wrong way this time. Tis annoying. Tis what it is, though. <sighs> Shouldn't hit me, but it did. Oh my god, there was literally no way of avoiding damage there. 
<laughs> the blood on the floor is really scaring me, but I keep forgetting that that's just caused by Backstabber. Honestly, enemies that teleport get so fucked by Backstab, because the, the distance they teleport counts as very quick movement. And so, the faster they move, the more damage they take. It means they take a ton of damage. Oh, Pride, you screwed me there. I don't know if you saw what happened there, but Pride was stood exactly on top of a troll bomb. And I didn't see it because it was directly below him, and I got hurt by it. So, Pride, we're blaming you for that damage. God. The damage we're taking is very, very bad. Are you guys going to throw your head or what? Thank you. And I dragged another enemy into me. Honestly, I was saying that I'm pretty set for the boss fight, but based on recent events, that might not be so true because I am losing an insane amount of health. Don't get hit in this room. Good. Check for second secret room just in case. Good. That's a lot of beggars. Okay. Um, How do we want to play this? I think I'll... Spend on you just in case you actually give me a payout. You did. Not really what I was looking for. I guess we'll spend on you and see if you give me a payout. Oh, what the hell? Hmm. Contraband. I don't think I want to do the contraband thing because it's not actually possible for us right now. Oh, we just filled the room with troll bombs. Get out of here. Right. Right. Let's do the, the boss fight and see how it goes. Honestly, Red Mum, kind of annoying because we can't attach the segments via the pin shots. So, but on the other side, oh, wow, good hit. On the other ha hand, on the other side of things, it's not going to be quite as bad for enemies spawning in. It's just going to take a lot longer than it would otherwise. Red Mum's a really annoying one, to be honest. Definitely the, the, the worst version of Mum, I think. I think everyone do be hating Red Mum. She got those strong legs. Oh, what the fuck? Since when does since when is that an attack? I was not prepared for that at all. I saw the red beam and I was like, laser? It wasn't laser, it was just a lot of bullshit. Like, what's all this? Since when could you do that? I did not know that was a thing that you could do. Ah! Booker, this is come on. We've taken way too much damage here now. Just do the feet. Nothing up nothing but the feet, please. Oh my god, I actually got hit by one of the foot. Getting hit by the feet on Red Mum with the coming down mod is just inexcusable to be honest. Okay, one more. Finally got it. Give me that Jesus juice. Give me that victory. I hope you guys did enjoy that one. A little bit of a longer run, but two challenges down and two very good unlocks. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.